Prime Minister's office has also rejected the Gujarat Chief Minister Narendra Modi's claims that the UPA government is partial when it comes to choosing states for allocation of funds. The Prime Minister's office has actually released data. They've hit out at the Gujarat Chief Minister Narendra Modi for alleging a bias against non-UPA rule states. In a tweet, the Prime Minister's office said, and I quote, the centre has allocated funds to states according to mutually agreed formula for economic justice. The tweet also claims that most developing states have improved their GDP growth during the last five-year plan. Senior Congress leader and Information and Broadcasting Minister Manish Tiwari has said UPA's performance vis-a-vis -vis the NDA, the UPA has done much better. Headlines today's Senior editor for senior political editor Javed Ansari spoke to the INB minister. I have with me Mr. Manish Tiwari, Minister for Information and Broadcasting. Let me begin by asking him. Mr. Narendra Modi is on a media blitzkrieg. Yesterday he was in Delhi. Today he's in Calcutta. He had lots to say. How would you rate his speech? Well, honestly, uh, India has uh, a large number of states and each state has its uh, own chief minister. And therefore, if uh, there is one chief minister who wants to go uh, Tom Tomming and chest thumping, you know, we have appropriate structures in that state uh, to reply to him. But uh, if you were to broaden the canvas and uh, really uh, sort of juxtapose uh, the Indian National Congress or the UPA against the NDA, which I think is the more germane question to ask, what Indian industry needs to reflect upon, seriously introspect about and uh, apply their mind to, is that here is a government, the UPA government, which during the 11th plan period delivered an 8.2% growth rate when the entire world were going through the greatest economic depression since uh, now the since, projection is fine since since uh, uh, the, the, the early 30s and juxtapose it against a completely flawed model which is being packaged and attempted to be sold which both in terms of uh, social parameters and even in terms of fiscal consolidation. Are, are you doubting the figures or the claims that he's made? Well, uh, the uh, figures speak for themselves. If you, if, you, if you look at the social parameters, if you even look at the fiscal figures, uh, what is being talked about and what is the reality are two different things altogether. You know, Gujarat has a state debt uh, which is among the highest in this country. Yeah, but he's claimed that you know, he's, he's touting the Gujarat model as the one as as the one that the rest of the country should follow. He says on all development indices, his state ranks the top. Does the uh, BJP itself believe in the Gujarat model? I do not think so. Yesterday, you had the Madhya Pradesh chief minister coming out on record and saying that uh, the BJP has made a laughing stock of itself. You know, when it talks about uh, prime ministerial ambitions. So, first of all, before uh, the chief minister of Gujarat attempts to tom tom and sell his model around the country, he should get his own party on board. I do not think that within the BJP itself, in the states where they are ruling, there is any consensus, you know, with regard to one particular model or the other. Does Mr. Raman Singh subscribe to the Gujarat model? Does the Chief Minister of Madhya Pradesh subscribe to the Gujarat model? And then there is that Karnataka model, you know, where they've made a complete mess of the state and themselves.